So we here have the zero line of a bending moment, which is nothing but beam. On the x-axis we have the its length, and on the y-axis we have bending moment, and we have denoted all the salient points with A, B, C, D. Now bending moment at A is zero. Now bending moment towards the right of A is minus twenty kilonewton meter. So we now connect this point with this point by a vertical line. Since at just towards right of A we have this bending moment, so at point A. Bending moment will be twenty kilonewton meter. Now bending moment at B is eight kilonewton meter, which is positive. So at point B, with suitable scale, we plot bending moment of eight kilonewton meter value. Now we have to connect these two points. Now how your bending moment varies between point A and B? To see that, we'll have to check the loading diagram. Now since between point A and B there is a UDL acting, so the variation of bending moment between these two points will be. A parabolic curve. Now we move towards point C. Bending moment at point C is plus 14 kilonewton meter. So above this point C, we have this bending moment of plus 14 kilonewton meter. A variation of bending moment between point B and C. If you see the load diagram, there is no load between point B and C. So the variation is a linear variation. So we connect this two point by a inclined straight line. Now if you see at point D, we have two values of bending moment. Towards left of D, bending moment is minus 30 kilonewton meter. So we plot minus 30 kilonewton meter at point D. Then we connect this point with this point. Now if you see the load diagram, there is no load acting between point C and D. So again, the variation of bending moment will be linear. So let me connect this with an inclined straight line. Then we move towards actual point D. So bending moment at point D is zero. So we connect this point with this point. So with this, our bending moment diagram is complete. You'll see that some part of the beam is under positive bending moment, whereas this small part is under negative bending moment. So now let us analyze our bending moment diagram. You see that the bending moment is changing from negative value to positive value at some point over here. Let this point be E. Also, your bending moment is changing from positive value to negative value at this point. Let this point be F. Now, point E and F are called as point of contraflexures. Point of contraflexure is a point at which the bending moment changes its sign. So we have E and F as two point of contraflexures. Also, I had already discussed the point at which the shear force changes its sign. The bending moment is maximum. So at this point C, our shear force changed sign from positive to negative. So I told you that the positive bending moment will be maximum, which is evident and true in this bending moment diagram. So if you see here at point C, a positive bending moment is maximum and its value is 14 kilonewton meter. So with this, our problem is solved. Thanks for watching in five minutes.